So you heard of the term Elliott wave. Like what the hell does that mean? Okay. Now we have a question from one of our subscriber about our uh, Elliott waves. You know, is it something useful? Uh, you want more information about it? You want to learn uh, what we learn? Okay. So just a brief background context about Elliott Wave before I go into today's video, where I will show you uh, the essential part of Elliott Wave. Okay, it's very complicated, but uh, in today's video, I want to summarize uh, it to a very simple, um, to understand, practical uh, method for you to apply Elliott Wave into your trading. Okay, so before I get to that, let's talk about um, how I first got started with Elliott Wave. Okay, uh, my first mentor taught me uh, Elliott Waves. Okay, I paid a lot of money to my first mentor to teach me uh, how to use Elliott Wave to predict uh, market turning points. Okay, so it, what, what I'm going to cover in this video is the same exact thing that she taught me. Okay, uh, she taught me how to simplify it. Okay, so I also read this book uh, by this guy. Okay, in fact, I read it multiple times. Okay, if, if you know you are into this Elliott Wave, then you probably heard of this book by Frost and uh, Preacher. Okay, it's one of the classics on Elliott Wave principles. Okay, I, I've read this book like I think four or five times, but each time I read the book, I get confused as hell. Okay, I do not know what's going on. Okay, I keep reading. And if you know, like you ask me right now, uh, what do I remember of this book despite reading it about five times? I, I can tell you honestly, uh, I do not remember much. Okay, I only remember the essence of Elliott Wave. Okay, and that's what I'm going to share with you today. Okay, I want to help simplify your understanding. Okay, I do, do not want you to complicate your trading. Okay, so let's get into the charts and I'll explain to you what Elliott Wave is all about. Okay, so over here I have uh, the, is the basic pattern of what, what is known as the Elliott Wave. Okay, so basically if you read the book, okay, you can get that book if you want. Okay, but I do not really recommend it. Okay, but if let's say you read the book, you understand that uh, what, the author is saying is that price actually moves in a series of waves, okay? Therefore, the name Elliott Waves, okay? So, what you have is a series of impulsive waves and then after that, you have corrective waves. So, I've written it over here, impulsive waves, then corrective waves, okay? So, in the book, the summary is actually very simple. You have a series of five waves. So, you have one, two, three, four, five. And after five waves, you have a three-wave corrective structure. So you have a A, B, C, okay? So what a lot of people do, which uh, I do not recommend, okay, it's, you know, they go to the charts and they start trying to, uh, you know, they start using the uh, Elliott wave, okay? They do something like, oh, this is, uh, you know, uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, something like that. And then they look for their three-wave corrective, which is uh, something like uh, this, okay? One, two, three. And they say, hey, look, it works. Okay. Now, the only issue with the Elliott wave is that there are a lot of, uh, you know, there's, there are a lot of variations because within the waves, there are sub waves. Okay. So if you read the book, um, the book will tell you that uh, you have to consider the sub waves within each impulses. Okay. Meaning that within this wave, for example, between wave one and wave two, you might get another, you know, another micro Elliott wave here, something like this, you know, and then after that, it goes up, okay? So it's very complicated, okay? And there's no need for that, okay? So that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. If you are still keen, right, it doesn't sound too complicated to you, but you still want to use it, then make sure you stay to the end, okay? Because I'm going to simplify it for you, okay? So how do you simplify it, right? This is such a complicated process. This is such a complicated theory, right? You want to have actionable tips where you can, you know, use it in your trading. You don't just want to learn theory, right? I hope, you know, that's why you're watching this video, okay? So, by the way, if you are new to this channel, right, please give us a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. We also have a free day trading guide for you. So, make sure you check that out, right? We simplify everything for you, okay? That's our job, okay? We don't want to complicate things. We make it simple so that even the layman can start, you know, applying the principles we teach and start trading. Okay, so for Elliott Wave, I want you to focus on only two things, okay? In Elliott Wave, you need to understand that there is two kinds of waves, okay? You have the impulsive waves and then you have the corrective waves, okay? So if you come over here, you realize that you have the Elliott impulsive wave and then you have the Elliott uh, corrective waves, okay? Um, the rest of it, don't bother about it. Triangle waves, com combo waves, you see it's very complicated, okay? There's no need for that, okay? So how do you use uh, this, okay? So what happens is that in price action, if you see that price has made an impulsive wave and followed by a corrective wave, okay, let's say um, 
this is a, let me just change the color. Okay, let's say this is a corrective wave. Then it is very likely, it's very high probability that your next trade, your this next trade over here, your next movement, sorry, is going to be an impulsive wave. Okay, so the way to trade Elliott wave is not to draw all this. Okay, I mean, you can, but uh, I don't think it's suited for a lot of people. It takes a lot of experience. Uh, even I myself, I think it's not, it's, it's not a viable option. Okay, but the way I like to use Elliott waves, I like to use the Elliott wave for trade direction. Okay, meaning that if I see an impulsive set of candles, okay, these are impulsive sets of candles. Okay, let me just uh, color code it so you can see it clearly. Okay, let's say this is impulsive and I see a corrective structure after that, okay, here. Then I can reasonably conclude that the next move is going to be a impulsive structure, okay? And this is what happened over here, okay? So what do I mean by impulsive uh, structure or impulsive waves? It's when the candles are mostly one color, okay? Meaning it's a trending situation and you have very big candles. You see, like this is a big candle, this is a big candle, uh, this two is not. But uh, generally speaking, this is a big candle and it's a very nice up move, okay? So this is kind of like impulsive wave up, okay? In fact, if you look here as well, okay? You look at this bottom here, here to here, this is as impulsive wave and this is a corrective wave, okay? So few pointers to note about impulsive waves. Let me just write it down for you here, okay? Impulsive waves are uh, generally of one color, Meaning that uh, if, if it's uh, bullish, then you see a lot of white candles. If it's bearish, it's uh, a lot of black candles. Okay, I'm not saying every single candle have to be you know, bullish or every single candle have to be bearish, but I say majority of the candles have to be one color. Okay, like maybe 70%, you know, most of it one color. Just eyeball it. You'll need to have a hard and fast move. Okay, generally one color, you want big movements, okay, and you want big candles. So this is how a uh, impulsive waves looks like. Okay, uh, I will not get into like you know the the small details about uh, identifying impulsive waves. Okay, maybe I'll do another video on that. But in today's video, I just want to show you that um you have two kinds of waves in Elliott wave. You have impulsive and you have corrective. So after impulsive wave comes corrective. If you see impulsive corrective, then you can use it to project that the next movement is going to be a impulsive wave in that same direction. Okay. So corrective wave is just the opposite. You have a uh, mixed colors, okay? Meaning that you have a lot of a uh, consolidation. You have red, sorry, you have a uh, white, black, white, black, white, black, okay? Mixed colors, candle. And then you have a small movement, okay? Like consolidation. And then uh, you have small candles, okay? So if you look back at the chart, you can see that all this, uh, this is the perfect, uh, you know, cor corrective wave because you have very small candles and it's a very tight range and tight body, okay? So this is how you use it. So whenever you see that there's an impulsive move, a corrective move, then you conclude that, okay, I should be trading in the direction of the first impulsive move because uh, based on the principle of Elliott wave, okay, after impulsive move comes a corrective wave, okay? So do not, do not need to bother with this, you know, this entire structure because it's honestly, it's, it's very difficult, it's not practical. But if you know you use uh, what I shared with you over here, impulsive then corrective, uh, you can find a lot of good uh, you know, trade setups and it can show you the direction very clearly, okay? Let me just show you a couple examples more. So this is a, uh, you can see that this is a impulsive movement, right? Big candles, one, two, three, right? big candles that close near the top, okay? And then after that, you have a very nice uh, corrective wave structure over here, okay? So what happens after this? I, I mentioned to you that after impulsive wave, a corrective wave, you should see another impulsive wave, correct? So you see that there's another impulsive wave over here again, okay? So that's how you use it. Let me show you, run you two more examples before I conclude today's video, okay? So uh, same thing, same thing over, um, let me see. Okay, same thing over here. Okay, just take note that this is not foolproof. I'm not saying that every single time it will happen. But uh, if you want to use Elliott Wave, then personally, I think this is the best way to use it. Okay, right? Do not uh, bother with drawing all this, uh, you know, start laboring the waves and stuff like that because it's not helpful. Okay, it's not helpful at all. But being able to, you know, tell yourself that, okay, uh, this is impulsive movement. Okay, this is a corrective structure. 
into support, okay? And then if you use our day trading guide, okay, which uh, you should, right? If you have not downloaded it, you, you must be crazy, right? Because there's so much value in that and you know, it's available free for you. The link is in the description. Make sure you get that, right? You would have, uh, you know, look at this as an entry trigger over here, this doji, okay? Or this pin bar of support uh, of the previous high as well. And then you will have buy it up and, you know, get a very nice write up. Okay, so please, uh, if you are going to use this concept that I teach, please, 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 please understand what I'm trying to say. Please use this as kind of like indicator. Do not trade off it, okay? Do not start going crazy and start looking at every chart. Start laboring and, you know, you say like, oh, um, this is, uh, you know, like that, like that, like that, like that. So here I must start selling. No, no, don't do that, okay? Please, please just use the impulsive corrective waves. Use it with the day trading guide, right? Find a good level okay find a good level to trade of it okay use the Elliott wave for your direction to identify where price is going to move next is it going to be bullish or is it going to be going to be bearish next then after you do that then you look for your entry using the trading strategy that uh, we teach okay so that's how you apply it if you have any other questions right just leave a comment down below okay we really tried our best to simplify it okay if that's for some reason, it's not clear enough, right? Maybe I didn't present well or, you know, you just confused. Right? Just, just leave a comment down below, right? I can always do another video to go into more details, right? About any issues that you have, right? Just, just let me know, right? Then I'll record a video just for you, okay? If not, thank you for watching, right? It's uh, the weekend. I hope you have a good weekend, right? We'll see you back in the Telegram channel and let's start uh, August on the right foot, okay? So, see you. 